So this build effectively combines the best of everything. And <laughs> it shouldn't work, but it does, at least so far. You go early Lethality, smooth transition into crit, very bulky with this rune page. Rune page also hyper late game focused. And with 100% crit after selling boots for a zeal item, yeah, this build slaps. You better mark my words. And we should get our minions, right? We do get our minions, perfect. Hello for the misfortune, it's over on YouTube as well, by the way. Currently live streaming on Twitch. And if you want to see my supports getting hooked live on stream, then <laughs> you have a link in the description of the video. But uh, yeah, in this lane phase, I mean, we're kind of getting outpushed now. The hook on Karma sets us back quite a bit. But we just have to endure the level 2 disadvantage and then we're fine afterwards. So it's... Yeah, okay, we lose a melee minion now for... Pika zoning us. Okay, perfect. For some reason, minion aggro switched and now we didn't even lose anything. Okay, but we also don't get our minions now. We just lost three for no reason. Ooh, fancy. But yeah, this is the build if you want to go Q-Max Misfortune. Probably the best Q-Max build you can play. And um, again, very consistent. It just does a lot. It's very beginner friendly too because you have a lot of room for error. You won't get punished for a lot of things. At least not as much as you normally would. So much tankiness, so much lifesteal. And still dealing tons of damage, it's crazy. Okay, they reach level 2. We should reach level 2 as well. Uh, level, level 3, I mean, of course. Okay, so far so good. Also, trading will always benefit us because we have more sustain. Jinx just bought the wrong potion, period. Good poke. But yeah, we are running kind of low on mana. Need to, I don't know, be a little more conservative. Can't really go for Q-Bounces when Jinx is staying in Rocket Launcher form because, you know, range is a factor. We can go for Q-Auto directly. Predicting the Flash. Still dying. Alright, because we tanked the hook. Okay, that sucks. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Good gank. Good gank. Need to admit. But it's not the end of the world, it's just one kill. It's whatever, and we do outscale. This build outscales everything. You better believe. Yeah, I got hooked into the chompers. Oh no, please don't fast clear. I'm there. I'm literally there. Don't you dare touch my minions. Okay, and now we deal quite a bit of damage with Serrated Duck. It's such a strong component. Also one of the reasons we go Longsword first with this one, because we want to ensure we get Serrated Duck first base. Had I gone Doran's Blade, I wouldn't have been able to buy it there. Okay, he wants me to ward this for some reason, but... Uh, you know, I do have a lane to attend. Can't just go there. And even if I've worked this, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna steal it? Enemy's base anyway, they're not doing it. So yeah. Okay, Pike's setting up vision. Jinx returning from base, where she obviously was. Bought a noon quiver. It's pretty safe to say that Dirk is still stronger. Early lethality is so good, and all, with all that Nuke Quiver. Well, Nuke Quiver is gold efficient, but the passive. I mean, it's just helping with farming, right? So who cares about that here? Hmm. We queued nothing. Okay, 
Let's try to not get Shivana'd again. Sure, Pike, do your thing. Oh, we are getting Shivana'd again. It makes sense, she knows we don't have Flash. Yeah, that sucks. Not a getting dragon for sure. It is what it is. We let the wave push towards us at least so we can deny Jinx some CS. Nice. I'm on my way. Potentially too late, but uh, what can you do? Never mind. Yeah, Jinx needs to fix this wave. She's in big trouble right now. She's losing so many minions. Yeah, okay, now she gets it under tower. We get all our last hits here. Nice. And now we can push. Jinx wants to base with her kill gold. And by pushing, we punish her for that. We can even ult another wave for maximum value. Yeah. No, we need to base. I have a ton of gold. Dude. <laughs> we got a double wave under tower. We have course base here. I just ulted a minion wave. Yeah, okay. Yeah, looks nice. Wait for some more mana. And we are getting closer and closer to that 12 minute power spike where we get our resistances. Which, all of a sudden, makes you so much more tanky than the enemy might ever expect. Or could ever expect. Makes more sense that way. <clears throat> so Jinx gets some pressure back on the tower because we idled for too long. Effectively greeted for a plating. That's alright. Some damage on Pike. Now we're here to lane again, and we have beautiful components. We can definitely brawl right now. Yeah, just wait for these to enter tower range, so we last hit them for free. Sure. There's no reason to give them the control ward. Where's Pike? He's missing. Not that much. But where'd he go? Okay. As long as he's not randomly killing our teammates and tilting them, I guess we're fine. We'll chase for too long. And make sure that goes under tower. Or at least pressure Jinx. Keep them busy. We hold lane priority here. And yeah, in one minute we will also get our resistances. Where are they? Just hiding under tower? I don't think so. They... Basing is also very bad. I mean, maybe they're setting something up. Dragon is spawning in one minute. Uh, I guess we just base and never find out. We can get our mythic. 
Who cares? Who cares what they're doing? They're not in lane. They're missing farm. That's all we need to know. Yeah, and we can keep going. There's no reason to upgrade boots here. It's much better to work towards another serrated dark. Insane power spike. Okay, she got Gale for us. Fair enough. Means we can't ult her for free. Unless we get like a karma root or whatever. We need to bait out the Gale Force first. Because that's just a, just a free ticket out of our ulti. 12 minutes. Means we get our resistances. Yeah, we are quite strong. Jinx missing. Ugh, click the wrong minion. Okay, where is Jinx? Jinx, where are you? If she sneaked behind us in the bushes, I don't think she can fight. The stronger. Okay, she plays it safe. Good on her. But they are, of course, looking for that second Drake for Shivana. Maybe I can steal. Probably not, though. I just got outsmited. Yeah, there is no points. It's just gone. Team doesn't want to contest, so we do not contest. Jinx pushing, so I don't need to overextend. <sighs> Two drakes for them. Close. Had that root connected, we would have killed them. Yeah, we still have healthy CS. 10 CS per minute, actually. <laughs> and again, the scaling is happening. Why is Karma not with me? I want to be proactive. Okay, Pike's also not there. Then we can actually just fight. Yeah, just go for an Eclipse trade. Get it to half health. And the next one we can just kill. Ideally, we bait out Gale for us there, but didn't happen. Unluckily. Un unluckily? Is that, is that a... I think you say unfortunately, always. Or misfortunately, you know. That was kind of a waste, but we get the minion wave at the same time. So it's also not too, too bad. Still lost a lot of mana here. The one Q. Slapping her. Do we just base? Okay, we should have just accepted the fact we get 2v1'd. Karma just didn't play the lane for the last couple of minutes. It's, uh, I know it's a cheap excuse, but <laughs> it's still how I feel right now. What do we get? Let's just get Cloak. The earlier we finish Collector, the better. <clears throat> Yeah, don't don't be deceived by this 0-2. We're still in a good position to carry. 10 CS per minute is nothing to scoff at. And this build scales like a monster. But yeah, we should have not wasted our flash in that situation, that's for sure. They're all just idling mid lane.
Quite a dangerous situation, actually. Not gonna lie. Okay. We're getting Pike low ish. And he's dead. Nice. Probably didn't even need exhaust, to be honest, but I'd much rather not risk this. And this tower is a stretch, I can't take it. But yeah. Just like that, because you have the items, you go from 0 and 2, the early game items, right? Eclipse and Surveyor Dirk, strong early game. Just like that, you go from almost inting, <laughs> 0 and 2, to a clean 2 and 2, getting that shutdown gold from Jinx. So yeah. Now, all of a sudden, she's staring down a 2 item lethality misfortune. And this is not even a liability late game, this is a smooth transition into a very strong crit build. We're massively ahead right now. 20 CS, a shutdown, and the next Drake is coming right as we get our item power spikes here. Okay. So Dragon spawning right as my team ends, that's a problem. By my team ints, I mean, of course, I int. Uh, I tried to follow up on Lux's play, but I just maneuvered myself into the choke, the choke point. It made no sense. It made absolutely no sense. I shouldn't have done it. This is a mistake that might lose the game. Not because the game state is so bad, but, but because my team's mental is so bad, right? If you look at this 8 to 14, it's perfectly doable. But them spamming FF is a real problem. But yeah, I walked way too deep into the choke points without having flash. Had I had the option to outplay, maybe that was justifiable, but I didn't, so going there is just stupidity. <clears throat> Botland Tower falls. Sure. Yeah, ideally we take that. And also ideally, we manage this bot lane wave before we do anything else. An enemy has been slain. Nice, good job. They might be coming for me. Okay, we see Jinx. Just not getting any of these CSs. Okay, they're all topside. On my way. We got the wave pass river, which is all, what, all we need for this play to work out. So don't get Malphite ulted. Okay, Jinx scale for us off the table. Without her Gale Force, I might be able to just get a clean ulti to kill her. Clean enough. Okay, no. Kha'Zix died. <laughs> Jinx, seven kills.
Okay. That was quite terrible. It's barren for them, yeah. Ah, oh, it sucks. But at least I didn't die, which is worth something. Well, oh, and I really, I doesn't die either, huh? Yeah, this Baron is not salvageable. Don't, 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 don't. Why would you risk it? Oh my lord! This is why you would risk it, I see. That's a tilter. They are so on tilt right now. Shutdowns left and right. That was huge, though. Only bad thing is they will respawn before dragon spawns. Making these kills somewhat inconsequential. I need this. Can get BT now. Having this for this fight is huge. We have some extra health to have more time for lifesteal. Also, the resistances means the life steal, the life stolen health is worth more. But yeah, it's bad. Lux just died. Oh, come on. Mountain Soul is so tough to beat. We got it. Not sure how, but we did. You can't 1v1 this build. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> Not even a 7 kills jinx. Wow. Okay, that's a... An interesting turn of events. Let's just phrase it like that. Eight kills, Jinx. Pardon me. <sighs> the craziest objective steals. That Kha'Zix, man. Really pulling his weight in the end. And that Irelia is also getting quite large, isn't she? Huh? Getting solo kill after solo kill. <clears throat> okay. Nice. We are insanely strong. So we postpone our last whisper always here because we do want that kill pressure on those squishy targets. Don't Malphite, we can still fight him with life still we have some percent penetration. We don't kill him fast, but we do kill him. But we want to kill the squishies as fast as possible. We don't want there to be any point in time at which Jinx can come close at dueling us. Yeah, okay. They're pushing top lane. Sure. I wonder who will answer. Can you tell you that much? Definitely not me. Or actually, I mean, if the team collapses, then sure. Sure, let's do this. Just 
move this way. All right. Is that really a fine? She should be. Next rake in two minutes. Which is something we should prevent. Oh no, okay, there she goes down. Lanes past river. I could base for pickaxe, but at the same time I can try and join my team. I still have everything ready, I'm fairly strong. Sonyas. Yeah, she tries to assassinate me. I, I don't think she realizes what she's up against. I have 51 MR. That's way more than the average AD carry, thanks to conditioning. Also, I have a ton of lifesteal and a ton of damage against squishy champions. But again, she is... conditioned to jump on AD carries like that, so she will not question her decision. Okay. Heal saves Jinx. Yeah, okay. I, I got baited by Jinx's heal. But again, I don't die for that. So... Who cares? Okay, I trade for two, so it's fine. And my team gets the tower. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. And now my squishy target damage is through the roof. Infinity Edge power spike. Yeah, so again, this build is just randomly magically... Okay, that magic that happened is obviously Kha'Zix stealing all the objectives. <laughs> but I still went from inting to just absolutely dominating in a heartbeat. It's wild. Just, it's just so absurd. Yeah, the Blanc. He can do that to my Lux, but not to me. Alright, Draken 3. Shivana on her way. I'm on my way shortly after. I should be there fast enough, I hope, I guess, I think. But yeah, look at these items. 372 AD. 12% armor penetration, 30 lethality. And once we get Last Whisper, we almost have 50% penetration. Just do this, with some quick gold and a Bloodthirster shield. And we just fast take this dragon. Before they can even think about challenging that. Yeah, Pike. Hook me into yourself, see what happens. Go Jinx, you want to fight her? Let's keep going. Damage against Squishies. Even this Malphite, I mean... Yes, he will live longer, but he still can never hope to duel us. It just takes a while to kill him, but through lifesteal and everything, what, what's he gonna do? Stand there and sl die slowly? Yeah, sure, but we can also just ignore. Kha'Zix is dead. I'm not a fan of this Baron. It's a very coin-flippy Baron. Just push lanes instead. Look at this value, 200 health. 150 health is 400 gold. We have 208 already. Yeah, no, Pike's behind me. He can try. You can all try. Sure. Did we find him? No, he just ran. <sighs> as much as it hurts, they're right. We have numbers right now. 
We should use that. Let's just hope Shivana doesn't get a steal. That was way too close. Is that game? It might be. 40 seconds. Oh no, they did steal it. <laughs> okay, never mind. I think we will still be sitting here for a while. Stupid 50-50s. I mean, an eye for an eye. We stole Baron earlier, so... We've had it coming. I mean, ideally, we just recall here. Okay. Ah, oh, the Baron Steel. Let's watch for Pike. Or for this dude. <sighs> Barely. I couldn't base for so long. But now I can finally buy my items, right? Do I need healing reduction this game? No. So we get this. And we also get this. By the time we respawn, we have the gold. For the maximum late game build. Alright. 45% armor penetration will be 48 once we get rapid fire. Oof. Almost 400 AD. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm. It's getting late. I need to. <laughs> I need this game to finish. I want to go to my craft my gap training session. My trainer is always so angry when somebody's late. The whole squad has to do burpees as a punishment. I don't want to be the reason. Anyway, this game's hype, so <laughs> he'll understand. <laughs> they all will understand when they're all sweating for me. All right, twenty seconds. Let's go. Yo, this build. I'm in love. Literally. Get our shield ready. Make sure we don't get choked. And rush it. 100% crits. In PvP combat, we don't even use Qs anymore. Because Q1 doesn't crit. Unless, of course, we go for a long range rapid fire thing. Let me do use Q for the free hits, but uh, you know. Let's move with the squad. We are way too strong. And we still scale. Gathering Storm plus um, Overgrowth. <sighs> this siege. What is this even? And why aren't we doing anything? Just literally hiding. Into hiding I must go. Alright. Guess we have to play it patient. We get stalled IRL, but it is what it is. I it's my fault for queuing up, really. Games like these can always happen. But I had three 40 minute games back to back to back. Can't we just siege effectively, man? Okay, just keep the pressure up in bot lane. I'll siege this. G 
guess that's worth. Get inhib, get three for one. Get damage on the tower. Yeah, I mean... Sounds like a game-winning play. It's only these two. Yeah, okay. Nice! Actually, actually legit. Let's see if we get another S plus for this. So far, three games with this build, three S pluses. This is the fourth one. <laughs> okay! Fourth game, fourth S plus. This build just keeps getting S pluses. I don't know, just League of Legends loves me when I play this build. <laughs> okay, so, um, only two honors. The audacity, just imagine, after my final play, dealing all that damage. Yo, how dare they? But again, good job, Kha'Zix, for stealing that. You really redeemed yourself. But uh, yeah, this build... What can I say? I'm in love. And I hope you are too, because you're already playing and spamming this. And uh, yeah, the runes were on the screen right there. So yeah, if you want to see more Misfortune stuff, then uh, click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.